Hello everyone, and welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm your host Val Death, and we're playing through the tutorials. Next up is tutorial 5, Ore Refining and Components. Uh, we've seen some of this already in the previous tutorials, but this is going to focus more on this aspect. The basics of infrastructure and industry are taught in this tutorial. You'll learn how to mine ores, process them in a refinery, and then commission new block components to be made in the assembler from those refined elements. Let's get started. All right, well, here we go. As always, we'll spawn in the medical room and begin. Hey, we're in faction. All right, pick up our hand drill, nice and easy. Two hand drills, we'll take one hand drill. Two, two. Use your hand drill to mine ore by holding the left mouse button and press T to pick up the rocks or the ore that fall out. We're in a gravity field so it falls down. Uh, in space it'll just float around. Uh, use the right mouse button will not yield useful ore. It digs a wider space useful for tunneling, but you don't get the deposits. We figured that out already in the last one. Uh, refineries can process all the ores. Or pro ores process at different speeds and some are very slow. Refineries will always try and pull ore into their inventory from accessible conveyor connected storage. Alright, well let's go over here and weld. Or drill some stuff, not weld it. So this is some nickel. There we go. T. T. And you can see the while holding the drill, it tells us what kind of ore it is it's near. There's all kinds of ores in the different Inventory. asteroids. Didn't even get some iron. Let's go ahead and drill it at least. Alright, deposit ore here. You can reorder the refinery's cube by moving ores in its inventory. Only one stack is processed at a time. The stack closest to the left. Alright, stack closest to the left. Now let's just put it in there. It's turning into nickel bars. You can hear it chugging. Oh yeah, that's pretty slow. Yeah, it's like, you know, I don't how much of it do I really need? And let's go and get that iron. But later of course you'll need lots to make all these different blocks and things yeah it's gonna be a lot of a lot of work but it's cool it's like this is the like it's the equivalent of the minecraft furnace here oh yeah that iron went real fast nickel's pretty slow and the silicon's pretty slow their way it's pretty loud there um, let me actually bring down those audio sounds some. Okay. The assembler manufactures components from refined elements. It will attempt to pull required elements from accessible storage. Queuing up the components required by accessing a control panel with K and selecting a production tab. The sub tab components should be selected, then click the components required to add then to the assembler build queue. So that's what we're supposed to be making, 15 steel plates. And as you can see we got the conveyors here connected to the refinery. When components have been constructed, then turn the welder on. Welders will automatically draw components from a conveyor accessible storage. And will automatically build something for this piston to proceed. Yeah. Okay, production tab. What do we want to make? Well, we want to make 15 steel plates.
So 13, that'll be 15 still placed. I gotta put more ingots in the machine, obviously. Two computers, let's just queue it all up. It'll tell us kind of what we need. One, two. Turn, I can't see both. Four motors, four large steel tubes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four large steel tubes. Ten construction components. The kind of generic one. Thruster components. Gravity generator components. Detector components. Construction components. Ten, right? Yep. Alright, so. Now that you kind of give us an idea of what we need. How was the refinery doing right there? You can see it's all connected. Um, on the production tab, silicon wafers, nickel ingots. So we need a lot of silicon and a lot of iron. So let's go get a bunch of that iron. and such. Back over here and just pick up what we got. It's a little hard to pick up stuff. It'll be like right on it. So uh, I like the concepts of this game quite a bit. It's very Minecraft like to me. I love space stuff. Survival. So let's go take a look over here, how we're doing. Made all that stuff so far. We just need more iron, iron, and some more nickel. It's already working on the nickel. Yeah, there should be plenty in there, actually, huh? Plenty of wafers. That's way more than I need, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's alright, just let it do its thing. Yeah, that nickel's way slower. And as soon as it makes it, it grabs it and pulls it and uses it. Cool. Control panel. In the order. There we go. So produce the things we can. And we'll wait while that um, is making the nickel stuff. Cool. We'll just uh, be back here as soon as this is all done. Alright everybody, all the components are made. Just the welder. Turn it all on for us. Awesome. We come and sit in and get some energy. I don't even have a um, oxygen thing on this one, so it might just be for a uh, retract platform, extend platform, stay on it, stay in a seat. There we go. <laughs> it pushes us across. Cool. All right, we did it. Drill and refine uranium into ingots to power the empty reactor. 
This is what we're looking for when we start the game off. This black, wonderful ore here. It gives power. That should be enough of it. If I can pick it up. Seems definitely seems easier in first person. Refine it after it had a little time. Get the ingots to the reactor. Don't need a huge amount. I have 300 stuff there. Oh wow. Yeah, that's slow. And then we'll go put those over here, and we'll be done. It requires uranium to generate power. The door can be open with when we've got power. Right now, it's, the buttons are all red because they don't have power. This guy's red. No, no uranium. He needs it. And this guy's refining it. Alright, can I check that little amount? Yeah. Let's go and stick it in here. There we go. All the lights turned on. We got power. And we're done. I think we're done. Yep, we're done. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all next time.